Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kandan, Professor Mechanical Engineering, Care College of Engineering. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss the topic Data Vault and Data Management. Uh, this is lecture number 2.1 in the second unit PLM and PDM functions and features. So, the subject is product life cycle management. So, in the lecture, we will define what is data vault, what are the components of data vault, the principles of data vault, benefits and the challenges of data vault and data management. Data vault and data, data vault is the repository for storing and managing product data. Repository means the place where we are storing the product data. It is a central repository where all the product data are stored. The data stored is a, is a secure and a organized manner, making it easy to find and access. So, repository, so we are storing the data in a particular place. As a store pandra method, it should be secure and organized manner. It should be safe and it should be properly organized. So, what is the advantage? So, when the data are stored in an organized way, we can easily find it out. We can easily locate it and take it for further use. We can retrieve it easily. The data include CAD files, drawings, specification of the product, test data of the product and many more. So, basically the drawing, CAD files, drawing specification, uh, bill of material, uh, manufacturing process, specifications, everything will be included in the data types. Data vault can help to improve the efficiency and the effectiveness of the product development process. So, product development process, how the product is developed, a new product or the existing product with additional features, how the product is developed. So, this data management or data vault will improve the efficiency and the effectiveness. So, efficiency means how quickly the product is developed. Effectiveness means how the product developed is closer to the design value, how effectively the product is developed with reference to the design value, that is what the effectiveness. So, the effectiveness and efficiency of product development process will be improved by means of the data vault and data management system. There are three major components of the data vault model, one is hub, satellite and the link. So, hubs are the core of data vault model. So, the, they contain most important information about the entities in the data warehouse such as product name, part number and revision number. So, the hub stores the basic information about the product. Satellites contains additional information about the entities in the data warehouse. Data warehouse is the place data vault such as CAD file drawing and the specifications. So, link is connecting the hub and the satellite so that the users, there are many users for the data, the customer, manufacturer, the person who is checking the quality, the public and the, those who are interested to know about the product, the designers. So, many people will be looking for the data for a particular product, right. So, everybody should use the data effectively and easily. So, link is the connection between the hub and the satellite. So, this is the simple example. So, when there is a question about data vault, in the drawing, when you cut time, So, the data vault data is stored from customer concept, from product concept and the order concept. So, the data with reference to the order, the data with reference to the product and data with reference to the customer. And we have the satellite. For every uh, data place, we have a satellite. Satellite is the place where we are storing the information. The diagram is important uh, in any question with the data vault. 
the data vault is built on eight basic principles so the fact orientation normalized hub denormalized satellites historical context so fact orientation unga immediately ninga recognize panna mudiyum it is fact about the product the data vault model is based on the fact oriented which means that it focuses on the fact about the entities in the data warehouse the fact original fact about the product is fact orientation normalized hub hubs are normalized to third normal form which means that they are free from duplicate data so the original data right so and uh, duplicate data and referential integrity error so the original data is stored in the normalized hub denormalized satellite so in the hub we store only the original data there is no duplication whereas in the satellite they are denormalized so what is the meaning for denormalizing the duplicate data will be available what is duplicate data the data available in the hub may also available in the satellite this is done to improve the performance and reduce the number of joins that need to be performed historical context data stored in the historical context uh, for example or car node data or 10 years ma or particular car node design data manufacturing data sales data or 10 years a store panni vechirukomna ka that is called as historical data historical information so the history about a particular product that is what the historical context and the unique identifier the data vault model uses unique identifier to identify the entities in the data warehouse so for a certain product we have unique number to locate the particular product that is what the unique identifier time oriented data the data vault model store time ordered data which means that the stored data is about the entity in the data warehouse is chronological order so uh, the data product the product data are stored with reference to the date of manufacturing or date of testing so in the particular chronological order segregation of data the data vault model segregates the data into different components such as hub satellite and the link so segregation with reference to the uh, the type of the product and type of the data and the flexibility the data vault model is flexible which means that it can be adapted to different data warehouse requirement so these are all the eight different principles of the data vault model for the data management and the benefit of the data vault model so there are five benefits improved data quality improved performance improved traceability improved scalability and improved flexibility improved data quality that means data vault can help to improve the data quality by enforcing data integrity concern and tracking change the of the data tracking changes to the data over the time so the quality of the data that can be improved by means of the data vault model improved performance data vault can help to improve the performance of the denormalizing de 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 data and storing time order data so denormalizing is duplicating the data information in the data uh, point and the storing storing time ordered so based on the time with reference to time date and time we can store the data so improved the traceability traceability means easily trackable easily locatable the product data can be easily locatable it is what the improved traceability improved scalability data vault is a scalable data modeling method which means that it can be easily scaled so ninga fluid mecha scaling modeling and the scaling pathi padichirpinga or product vande reduced model or enlarged model we can manufacture so the product data can be scalable accommodate need of the growing business and the improved flexibility data vault is flexible data modeling methodology which means that it can be adapted to different plm requirement so we have the flexibility of using the data from the data vault so these are all the benefits of you can even just to put the title improved data quality improved the performance improved traceability improved scalability and improved flexibility all the title you need to remember and write under the benefit of using the data vault in plm and there are some challenges complexity cost and maintenance so in a huge manufacturing organization in a huge organization the amount of data is very more 
So the data world is a complex data modeling methodology which makes it difficult to understand and implement. So the amount of volume of information available, volume of data available will be more which makes the system complicate, complicated. And we require some cost. There is some cost required for uh, establishing to uh, create the data vault model. And we need some skilled skills and tools to uh, develop the data vault. And maintenance, the maintenance can be challenging uh, data modeling methodology to maintain due to the complexity of the model and the need to track the change and data over the time. So these are all the challenges. Again, you can just write the title. It is complex. Data vault model is complexity. It has, got, it has got the complexity. The cost is high and the maintenance also. It is difficult due to the complexity of the product. So this is what about the data vault. So the def define data vault. That may be the two more question and explain or describe data vault in detail with its benefits and challenges may be the part B questions. So you prepare well, refer to your notes, prepare well and note down the important points and write in the examination. So thank you. So if you have any doubt, you can contact me uh, through the mail ID. We will meet again in another video lecture. Thank you.